This is Sterling Vineyards 2008 SVR Reserve Red Blend Napa Valley. Um, this is a, a wine that we've had previous vintages of and um, they're always superb. Uh, the 08 is the latest release and we, um, you know, we, this is one of these wines that uh, we really can't get enough of around here. They do such a good job with this wine. It's a blend. Um, this vintage happens to be 70% Cabernet Sauvignon, 27% uh, Merlot, and 3% Petit Verdot. Now the grapes all come from Sterling's best vineyards, their reserve vineyards. And they, they pull in all the different lots. And they do a they do a double triage on the grapes so they they hand sort them all while they're still on the stems. And then after they de-stem them, they then do another sort. And they pull out, you know, anything that's not up to par. So they just get the best of the best of these reserve grapes. Then they do something else which is a little unusual. They take certain lots and they barrel ferment them, um, which is something you hear about a lot for white wine, but not for red wine so much. Um, but they feel that this really integrates um, the oak flavors and oak tannins in, uh, in the best way, marrying the flavors and making them um, you know, a whole, um, a complete part of the mix rather than, some, than something that's disjointed or, um, you know, just not quite all together. Brings all those flavors together, that's what I'm trying to say. So, um, barrel aged then in uh, mostly French oak, about a quarter American oak, and um, half of it new oak. So, that's the uh, routine. And what you've got on the nose is something really, really pretty. I'm getting, um, I got something like uh, cranberry or pomegranate and strawberry. And a little bit of um, mocha. Mm. Really nice nose. Let's taste. Yeah, so on the palate, in that mouthfeel is where you get the impression that that cellar work is really, is really coming together. They're really integrating those, um, you know, those, those rich, smoky, oaky flavors from, from the barrels into that wonderful um, cherry, strawberry, raspberry, chocolate flavors from the grapes. And, um, Everything's coming together really nicely. There's sort of a sort of a perfumed element that this sort of seems to carry through as well. Um, the tannins are are there. I mean, they're they're big. There's a nice big backbone to this wine. Um, they're not aggressive. Uh, I think you could still uh, age this wine for probably three to five years easily and see a nice development. Um, but uh, it's not forbidding at all at this point. It's really, it's really quite nice and something that would match up beautifully to a steak or some nice big red meat. Enjoy.